Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Legend of Zelda Mitch Cross Mask Part 4. I am Tibbs, along with my buds, Ravenous Spectre and Ron Mower. What's up, Cuddies? Yo. And today, we are we're doing some more stuff in Clock Town before we really begin the journey. Like I said, I love to do everything I can. I thought you said Clock Town. What? what? <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of chickens everywhere? Clock that. No, that would be, yeah, that would be Kakariko Village, because those cuckoos were everywhere. Oh, yeah, I'll drop your cuckoo. <laughs> and we just magically traveled back in time. Yep. The first of many, many times. Like I said, I, I, li I like that element. When I first played the game, it was intimidating, but once you get the hang of it, it's really cool. Yeah. And there's some insane glitches you can do to manipulate that, too. Oh, I bet. I've seen a glitch speedrun of Ocarina of Time. Like, you can get into the Shadow Temple as a child. Link's like, I need money, I need money. Yeah. <laughs> Link's like these other YouTubers that are in it for the money. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> Someone asked me today, oh, so you do YouTube stuff? Do you make money from that? <laughs> I said, no. I probably could if I really, really wanted to, but it's too much trouble, and I just do it for, as a fun hobby. This is going to sound cheesy, but you know what you should have said? No, I make friends. Yeah, I should have said that. <laughs> They've been like, um, okay. And give me, if what if I said that with a creepy grin, that would be weird. <laughs> what kind of, uh, Chris Hansen, what kind of friends, Ronnie? How old are they? Now we're taking the back door into the stockpot in, which is the only time you can actually get in there this early. Crackpot in? What? Oh. <laughs> oh, Grandma. That's uh, the Wicked Witch of the West and Turn Face. Can either of you tell me who that character was in Ocarina of Time? I want to, but I can't. Oh, I know she's from Ocarina of Time, but I... Hold on, let me... Um, is she like an old woman in Kakariko Village? Is she the one that... Um, no, not the cuckoo lady, because uh, she's young. She, the cuckoo lady's the, the desk clerk right here, right? Right, and you, yeah. Okay, but the that woman in there, uh, I think... Is she in Kakariko Village? Yes. Um, is it... Is it chi as Child Link or Adult Link? Adult Link. I want to say... Um, I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know what character she played, like an old housewife or something. I don't know. I give up. Do you know Spectre? Uh, no clue. She was uh, the owner of the potion shop. Oh, okay, I, I think I remember now. Remember when you do the big the big Oran sword, big Oran sword, however you want to pronounce it, you have to take her the mu I think you take her the mushroom or she gives you the mushroom. It's been a oh, while. Oh, okay, I remember. I vaguely remember now. Jeez, I haven't done that side quest in a long time. I didn't even do that in my LP. I wanted Did to. You but see, that we just got. Yep. I loved. This is this is what I was talking about when I said you can see events happen because. We got that room key. Now this poor guy, come in, he'll expect to be let into his room, and well, watch this. <laughs> I love how you can spy on conversations here. Yeah. This guy, he's, he's got the scariest looking face of any Goron ever. Yeah. <sighs> Link Goro. Yeah, we just took this poor guy's room. Oh, good job, Tibbs. Well, hey, it's for a good cause, because getting that room key is the first of many, many steps towards, well, I, I don't want to spoil it for anyone who hasn't seen, but there's one side quest in this game that takes all three days, has many rewards, and a really good payoff. Some people hate it, but I love it. The mayor's, mayor's residence. residence. Yeah. He's oh. going through hell in his office right now. No, sorry. Oh, wait. No, this is one of the rare models that was not in Ocarina. Yeah, that's right. Unless it's Saria transformed to a... <gasps> no, human. wait a minute. I might be wrong. The the bomb chew bowling alley, that girl, I think she had the same, like, animations, but a different face. Yeah, I think so. Okay, and this woman, I can't remember where she was from. I mean, what part of the Ocarina of Time she was from. No, she's original. Oh, that's why I can't remember. 
Yep. <laughs> nice hair. I know her hair is like Looks alive. Like something like Jericho would wear in WCW. No, Kidman, because it's an onk. Oh yeah. Well, Jericho had like weird ponytails or something back then. <laughs> or man bun. No, that's a uh, Big Bertha Faye, aka Rhonda Singh. No. For some reason, that clip of Jericho bashing that clip of Jericho bashing the chair up against the um the ring post. ring post and saying he's had he's had enough just came to my mind. Yeah. And well, and this uh, is the cafe's mask. This I get. This is basically what's going on in this town. Is there is a there's supposed to be a wedding between that desk clerk Andrew and Cafe, her fiance, but he has gone. Dis he has disappeared. And everyone in town's talking about it, and that's the purpose of this side quest is essentially to reunite them. Ah. So, in addition to Link being the hero of time, he's also a wedding planner. Exactly. He's a multitasker here. And that girl right there at the desk, she, she keep twisting her body forward. <laughs> what the? Hey, big boy. Yeah. Oh, you know what? It actually can't be that girl from the Bomb Chew Bowling Alley because she actually – there's another mini game in this town that she's in, so my bad. <laughs> hmm. And then Goron is the Goron could, from the Gorons. You, you you can tell like a, like a good pro wrestler. I don't work off a script, folks. Yeah. Here's young, innocent, 21-year-old Stephanie McMahon. <laughs> when was she ever young and innocent? Oh, excuse me. Where to, Stephanie? Yeah. Oh, she wants to see me in the kitchen after dark. No. <laughs> if Gentry was playing back, no, you get in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a quick way to pass the time. Yeah, Although there is something you can do with the grandmother later on. And get your minds out of the gutter. No, that's who the grandmother is. She's one half of the twin Rover twins, but as a baby face. Because the other one stayed Speaking evil. Which, I saw a really good drawing of them on Facebook today. Oh, cool. And incidentally, it you would have seen it, Ronnie, but it was in that group. Yeah, I was <laughs> going to say, if it was in that group, for some reason I was banned from that group, but that's all good. Ronnie's a rebel. And look at this guy <laughs> yeah. here, sleeping outside. Yeah. Poor guy. Good job, kids. Way to treat the homeless. You just saw DX treating the homeless on uh, that thanksgiving episode <laughs> oh you're in the west side now so uh, rosa sisters are still dancing yeah, yeah. Uh, we got another donation request coming up <laughs> always like i said you got five thousand to get a heart piece so always got to deposit everything you can yep i never did this because I, I was greedy <laughs> When I, like I said, when I when I when I when I play this game for my own amusement with no one watching, I tend to like to continuously grind rupees until I get that because I'm just compulsive that way. But obviously, that would make for the most boring video ever. Yeah. We can just cut that out, like I do, and I grind. True. Oh, going to the second day now. Do, 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 do. <laughs> me of 24. It shows the time and... Dun, 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 dun. Well, there you go, folks. That's where they got the inspiration. Yep. Those two guys over there, I know where they're from. They're the kids juggling all the time <laughs> in uh, uh, High Roll uh, Castle Town, Rockery of Time. Yeah. And they're, they're just as pointless in this game as they were in that one. <laughs> yeah. And that kid on the right we just seen, that's uh, obviously Jeff. <laughs> All right, back to Crackpot Inn. Kill more time here. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, a tortoise. I thought Link should be on fire right now. Right, yeah. Imagine that that's how he died. The way the fire looks, the fire almost looks like uh, the Twister in The Wizard of Oz when you see it up close. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Imagine if he died like that. The hero of time, all things that kill him is that. 
Just like in Shockey 64, you can get killed by a stable boy by accident by, I think, I, for, I forgot how it happened, but it was dumb. The other day in Breath of the Wild, I was up in the mountains where it's super hot, and I tried to pull out a bomb arrow, and it exploded in my face because it was so hot. <laughs> wow, nice. It's Carpenters. Did you find Robin Williams in this game, yet? They... <laughs> in this game, they actually work, though. No, do you hear what I said? What? Did you find Robin Williams yet in Breath of the Wild? I don't get it. <laughs> you, you didn't hear about that Easter egg? Yeah, there's a character. Uh, uh, I think he just wanders around. And he looks real similar to Robin Williams. I know there's one that looks like a Wada. I don't know, but look it up. Robin Williams, Easter egg, and Breath of the Wild. Some people say, no, that's not him, but it might have been a tribute to Robin Williams because his daughter's name is Zelda, so I don't know. That's right. But we fail. This is useless now. Yeah, Majora's Mask does it differently. You do it while you're inside the conversation. Yeah. Uh-oh. Here comes the Undertaker! Dun, 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 dun. Don't turn your back on the wolf pack. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, jeez. That specter has pulled a Jeff. <laughs> what was that? Oh, we thought you fell asleep. <laughs> oh, no, no but like... Jeff was different. With Jeff, you could hear like a crash if his head hits the keyboard. Yeah. Now Spectre's like, I don't care about this game. I can't wait to do some more Faces of Evil commentary. Oh man. Oh well, no, it's not that. It's just uh, it's just the fact that I've never, I've never played through uh, Majora's Mask, so it's like a all new experience for me. Oh, it's a first impression. He's, he's uh, enthralled in the game. Yeah, our first impression. Will the couple be one. reunited? Yeah. So this is like a uh, Majora's Mask mis mixed with uh, the young and the restless. Yeah. We could be safe in the world right now, but eh. Yeah. Well, that house is like a big treasure chest, does it? Well, there's a, there's a reason for that. Is this a bonus game with treasure chest, right? Yeah, there, there's 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 like half a dozen different uh, like games in this town. Uh, but a lot of I mean, interesting. Like I said, the last time I Go played ahead. through this entire game was like 2001. I think I did watch all of or half of Lens of Truth LP of this game before we took down the whole series. Um, but man, I, I just. So a lot of stuff I'm going to see. Especially when we start heading toward the dungeons, I'm really going to, like, forget a lot of stuff. Like I said, a lot of the games, this, the games in, the games in this game, you actually have to do them, like, three days in a row. Like yeah. one, you know, the first, second, and final day to get the, the big prize, which is usually a piece of heart. There, yeah. There's a lot of heart pieces in this game, considering there's only four dungeons. Yeah. I bet Bill Murray would like to play this game. I know, right? <laughs> and after Link um, gives the... Uh, the code to that to the like century up here <laughs> you could go you little brat you have never thanked me huh Let's see if i remember that no i was i was i was referencing the movie groundhog day ronnie oh jeez okay i thought it was talking about to the i mean um thing majora's mask <laughs> i don't wonder i don't remember that you can make up anything you can say screech powers makes an appearance in this game i'd be like oh really i don't remember that <laughs> oh, the laundry, the laundromat. Oh, wait. the laundry pool. Now, where are the Keaton's mask? I used to think, you know, Ocarina of Time, there was a way to beat that guy that you raced, but it was a trick. Everybody pissed me off. I, I know, I tried so much. The Keaton mask in this game, though, it actually has a purpose. Only one purpose, but a purpose. <laughs> And uh, oh, obviously it was um, designed after Pikachu. But there is an interesting Easter egg, and I'll point it out once we get all the masks. But there's a certain like when you have all 20 masks, there's a particular row of them that represents 
the four characters in a certain game that we all love. At least I hope we all love it. The milk bar. Ah, the good old milk bar. And there's the mayor's wife again. Yeah, and the Bremen mask that looks like a bird, that's the row. So keep is an that, eye on that. On, hmm? Oh, is that Mario at the bar? bar Mario's a bartender? <laughs> what? You beat me to it. I was going to make that joke. No, that's, uh, is that Talon from uh, Ocarina of Tom? It is. I knew it. It makes sense. The milk bar and, you know, Long Long Ranch, you make milk. You got now the this is the Romani. Previously, I said that when you do this, you have to do it twice to get um, all the rewards. And this is what I mean, because the, what we just gave her, the other option is to give it to the mailman, and he'll give it to her, and he'll be so happy that he will give you uh, his hat, which we'll see later. Oh, cool. Because he really takes his job seriously. The fact that the moon is going to fall, I mean, it's, it's almost like... It's not so much that he's going to die, it's the fact that he can't perform his job anymore that bothers yeah. him. Man, the mailmans in Zelda games are dedicated. They are. I wonder what the mailmen are like in uh, Faces of Evil and Wanda Gamelon. It's one of the curiosity shops one of my favorite places in the game because they're one of my favorite like conversations that you can um eavesdrop on takes place there this whole game is just so rich with plot and he gets very excited when you deposit money to him <laughs> That just sounds shady. <laughs> I think if you give me all your money, the next day he's gone. But no, this guy's actually <laughs> legit. And he, and he, again, too, as the moon's about to fall, he's there continuing his job. Yep. ECW, ECW. Cock a doodle doo. Now don't get cocky. <laughs> Who's that guy up there in the. I love, oh, no. I love how when you go back to the first day, whatever mask you were wearing, you still have on, even though technically you didn't put it on yet. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Look, yeah, yeah. Plot hole. Yep. Don't worry, folks, we're getting the – well, it's not boring to me, but we're getting the quote-unquote boring stuff out of the way now. There will be plenty of dungeon goodness in the videos to come. Yeah. It's just that with this game, it takes a long time to get to that point. Well, I mean, if you're, doing, if you're doing side quests all the time, yeah, but – and this is 100% right. run, right? Yes. And Well, like I said in the, I think the first video I said this is that one of the reasons why I think some people didn't like this game is it didn't make a good first impression with them. You know, within the first hour, usually, if the game doesn't grip you, then it might not ever. Yeah. And this some is people kind of how it is with any game. And it's also kind of like how it is with me in any movie that I watch. If it doesn't really grab me, probably within the first 30 minutes or so, um, I, I probably I pretty much just, just don't stick with it. Yeah, that's it why, that, that's why I, I didn't like They Live at first. I thought They Live was a boring movie because the first 30 minutes is him walking around with that music. <laughs> homeless and looking for a job and talking to people. Then finally the action happens. <laughs> and that's why I gave it a second chance. And, oh, this movie is cool. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't always work that way because when I showed Nikita the God, uh, Godfather 1 and 2, not the third one because that one sucks so bad it's not even worth it. 
But the first two are two of my favorite movies ever. And when I first showed them to her, she didn't quite enjoy them completely at first because they confused her a little bit. But on repeated viewings, she really got to know the characters and the story, and now she loves them. Yeah, I guess it really depends on. I guess it really depends on the movie and the movie genre. And same goes with games and the game genre too. Because even though RPGs are like my number one genre, when you play some JRPGs, sometimes it can take a little while to start to get kicking but i guess with games it's it's a little different because you're actually interacting with it instead of just sitting there watching stuff happen on a screen like with a movie yeah. right and no one can say i don't have time to play majora's mask yeah you do you have an ocarina you have all the time you can always go back that's right <laughs> that's right all right as jeff and his best friend are over there juggling <laughs> <laughs> no, Ronnie, that's not me. You know what? You're from Texas. Hee haw. My name is Ronnie, and I talk like this. <laughs> Even though I don't. But anyway. <laughs> that's how Jeff Keys making fun <laughs> of me right now. <laughs> E-B-I-O-K-A. Little tidbit. Uh, the very first voice you heard in the very first part of the very first LP on the S2K channel was Jeff's mother's voice. That's right. We, we, hit, go, we go three, two, one, play. Right before I said my uh, opening greeting, she goes, and Jeff, somebody, Jeff, put your clothes in the dryer. You can hear in the background. <laughs> and we left it in yeah, there and I, I said, remember, welcome to uh, play I... close in the dryer for the NES. <laughs> well, when I first, when I first, because I hadn't watched like everything on this channel when I first started making videos so after i did i was like you know i'm gonna go back and really delve into this channel a little bit deeper and I was, I was watching them in order and when i saw that or heard that rather i even messaged you i think like what was that yeah <laughs> oh just mother wanted to play put your clothes in the drawer for the nes hey why not there's wall street kid yeah <laughs> you know i'd rather play faces of evil than that game One of my favorite Armake 21 moments is when he's doing Wall Street Kid, and the last thing he says, or one of the last things he says is, fuck you, Wall Street Kid. <laughs> I've never seen that one. It's in that two-hour movie, quote-unquote, The Lost Episodes. It's just like a collection of different videos that were lost. Uh, with Armake 21 versus Action 52? Well, yeah, but this is a different video. And Daily Towers? Oh, okay, because he was trying to do a Daily Towers review, and he did a review where he's trying to get started on that review, but the computer crashed. No, it finished, actually. I think it finished. Oh. Like, he had it all done, and that's why he got so pissed off. Oh, okay. More time traveling. <laughs> Dr. Sam Beck. All kind. Oh, yeah, all kinds of time traveling in this game. Yeah. There's a TV show called Tom Tracks, and I forgot the actor's name. It might be the same actor to play as Raiden in Mortal Kombat. Christopher Lambert? No, I'm not sure. <laughs> you mentioning Raiden made me, makes me think of Big Trouble in Little China. <laughs> those are those, those uh, what are they called, the Three Storms? Yeah. I looked at Nikki because she really likes that movie. Star Soldier was here. That movie's for girls. Nikki, excuse me? I start back at the milk bar again. Yes, I love that milk. Ah. See, here he comes. Here he comes, I told you. I love the look on his face. <sighs> yeah. 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 I love this guy. That's an order. That Sergeant Slaughter. That's an order. Yeah. Maggot. Whoa, yeah, that moon's about to crash as the earth shakes. Dude, run faster. The one in Twilight Princess has you beat. He should be he should be moving a lot faster considering how, uh, how he's pumping his legs. Yeah. Cool. Da, 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 da. You 
you got in Bison's hat. And it's got a bunny on it. That's obviously a reference to Ocarina of Time. Yeah. Oh, now he's running fast. Which, exactly. And I let the guard... It looks like the guard's trying to stop him, but he's not. He's letting him go by. He's <laughs> just he's trying to stop you. <laughs> <laughs> and all that for a heart piece. <laughs> yeah. People are like, oh, oh, Jeff would hate that. He hates that. All that for a heart piece? Really? All that for a heart piece? Well, Jeff, what, what about the feeling of helping someone? Jeez. You know, I'm here to help myself. You know, I don't care about anybody else. And, or Jeff, go back to the princess, you, you little chicken. Yeah, and plus you have a... A shop where you help people with games and computers. You know what? That's different. I'm not a spring chicken, so. Here's, this is the purpose of the Keaton mask. You do Ooh. a little trivia game with Pikachu. Excuse me, this Keaton. <laughs> I like Star Fox and Pikachu's love child. <laughs> Looks like that dude from Naruto with the nine tails fox or whatever he is. So this is the famous Michael Keaton. <laughs> This question I never I can never remember the answer to. Uh no, we did that, Tom. Oh. I'll stock pot in. That's an easy one. St stockpile in. <laughs> Zora, of course. You're on a roll. Epona song. See, I'm a genius. <laughs> Lulu. Toto. This ain't Kansas. I bless the rains down in yeah. Africa. Really? All that for a hard piece again? You know what? What's with the hard pieces? Shut up, Jeff. That's why we haven't had you in this yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Eh, my name's Ronnie. I talk like that, yes. South Carolina, South Side. You better stay on your side, or the South Side gang's gonna jump you. <laughs> oh, not even the West Side, the Wild Wild West. Wild 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 West. I think Bruce Buddy was like, they go Wild Wild Wuss. <laughs> yeah, 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 Wild Wild Wuss, man. I was thinking of the South Park where Cartman was doing the whole Wild Wild West uh, Will Smith thing. <laughs> uh, have you played Bruce Buddy for '64? The 64? No, I'm just kidding. I was going to say. That'd Super Nintendo, yes. That'd be something. It's... But it 64. I had all the South Park 64 games, though. I never really played those. But Vendor 22 called, I think, Toys R Us one day. And said, this is back when South Park came out for uh, 64. He goes, yes, do you have South Park for 64? And the guy goes, no, but we got Star Wars, though. <laughs> what does that have to do with South Park? <laughs> The most he was probably told to push sales of Star Wars. Or I don't know if it's Shadows of the Empire or what game he was referring to, but it's well, like, that's not what he asked for. Shadows of, yeah. You don't have to push Shadows of the Empire or Rogue Squadron. Right? They will sell because they are awesome. Yeah. Or Hello Kitty. Wait. Ugh. No. Well, we know that's what, you're that's what you love to play, Ronnie. <laughs> I remember... One night I called Toys R Us, real, or no, Target, one of those stores that stayed open 24-7, and uh, some old guy answered. You can tell he didn't know anything about the daggum video game world. <laughs> it was ridiculous. And so uh, it was like, hey, do uh, you have Sonic the Hedgehog 2? Hedgehog 2? What? No, <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog 2. He called it Hedgehog 2? What? <laughs> yep. It's like, well, how in the world are you even bothering to work at this place when you don't even know what your inventory is coming in? Where are you, where are you even working at in that area? In inventory what? Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm confused. Did I leave the home again? Somebody have a nurse. <laughs> <laughs> where am I? I don't know. Where's my son? He hasn't been to see me in 15 years. <laughs> What's a hedgehog? Oh. Right, I think I, huh? I need some uh -huh. sauce. My mouth is dry. No. What? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Who? Oh, what song did you just play? Uh, the song to slow down time. 
Yeah, the inverted song of time. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, the inverted DDT. Good God, he oh, just God he just slowed down Tom King. That means got to be a, that means Raw's gonna be another hour. Good God. The Impaler. Yeah. <laughs> Gang Grail has some I'm awesome like his music. That that's what happens if you speed up Jr. He turns into Joey Styles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Then knocks out JBL. Yeah, I can I can see that. Oh, my God. oh I love this music. <laughs> dun, 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 so sometimes sometimes Joey really Styles would go off, and it's like, what the heck did you even say? It's like you know he said, oh my God, but it sounds like he just said, yeah, yeah. and it's like he sounds like Cartman now, for God's sakes. Yeah. I'm a beef cake. I'm not fat. I'm getting in shape. Cat fight. <laughs> Cat fight. No, kitty, that's my pet pet. Well, you do that too well, man. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to uh, Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask Part 4. We have with Tibbs and Cartman. <laughs> no. Okay. No, this, is, <laughs> this is South Park. Cartman, uh, tell us what Don't tell him what to do. I am the authority. Ooh. Stop Let's hogging all the cheese and push a little fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, was gonna say, I love this music right here in this observatory. It sounded like you said EC dumb. <laughs> yeah. EC dub. EC dubs. Dub C dub. The person that. Oh! oh. <laughs> Ouch. That's EC dub. See, you guys distract me. The, the person that made the S2K entrance was, uh, I think his channel was called, uh, uh, nickname for the channel Dubs or Kicks. D yeah, dubs or kicks. Now, I, I gave a shout out to him. I think I was like EC dubs, EC dubs. Hold on, back to this boring music again. You know, at least this game does get much better. Unlike Shoutgate sixty four, it just stays boring. You don't escalate uh, anything. There, there we go, folks. There's a, th that's a drinking game for this series. Take a shot every time Ronnie mentions Shoutgate sixty four. Right. Gentry's listening. I told you, Ron Moore likes Shell Kate 64. <laughs> They'll probably be down for the count halfway oh. through the video. Did you just go glitch through the stairs? Yeah, that can happen. Wow. Well, there's the uh, DQ businessman again. <laughs> there's actually a bunch of them in this game. There's one in each area. Yeah. There's a purpose to everything. Yeah. I wonder this what's in those bags. Nuts? Douche. <laughs> no, that's for his wife. Who? <laughs> his wife. Bray Wyatt. Yeah, he mentioned his wife. Oh. <laughs> Dude, why yeah. are you stopping me? You let everyone else go by you. I know, right? You let a little kid go by, but not... Jeez. Oh, well, Link is a little kid right here, but the literal -er -er kids. As a dick, you can actually backpedal past some of them. Oh, really? Cool. Well, that is part four. Jeez, it's getting crazier as it goes. Don't worry, folks. I swear to you, things will get more interesting in gameplay and in commentary, I'm sure, as the episodes go on. For I am Tibbs, along with Ramor and the Spectre. All right, and we'll see you next time for part five. Take care, everyone. Peace. God bless and take care.